I thought I'd offer a word on political tactics, political rhetoric, um, tactics, yeah, is better. The left concern themselves with principles. The right concern themselves with not dealing with principles. Or very many. They, they have some. But the principles they have are rather not deep principles. They're they're more pragmatic principles, and that's the point of, of this video. In an argument, an interlocutor will say to you, when you're trying to make a principled point, What would you do if such and such would happen? Or give it giving you hypothetical situations? Or how would you feel if such and such and such happens? And this is a tactic because it's appealing to emot emotions of the, the audience, the onlookers, the observers, to the plausibility and the need for this 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 particular pragmatic outlook now the thought I have to offer here is pragmatics are important but before you begin the pragmatic process of saying right what shall we actually do it is in, it's more important and more logical to have first discussed the principles which will bind and confine the actions you are prepared to undertake. The principles inform the pragmatism. So that's that's the game, that's the switch that um, probably right and left of politics try to play and it must immediately be met with rebuttal that I'm not going to um, discuss hypotheticals and uh, um, the pragmatics until yeah, those are a distraction from the point that I'm making and I expect in, in reasoned discourse for you to meet the point with, with some substantial underpinnings and principle yourself. I'm making a principled point that will confine the pragmatism and once we've discussed some principles and threshed those out, then we can look at how that informs uh, the pragmatism of certain situations. So it is with Immanuel Kant's um, ultimate principle of morality. It's a pragmatic fact that we can't legislate it. Yeah, and hold everyone to account for every tiny instance that they didn't obey the, the moral principle. And as Michael Sandel says, the fact that we can't, it, it's an intrinsic difficulty, uh, intractability, impossibility, to agree on the good life, what, what, the purpose of life is that to form a society and with with the Rawlsian insight about 
um, what society as a game, what would you, behind a veil of ignorance, be happy to play? These um, abstract insights give us principles that lead to, as, as Michael Sandel says, the modern uh, political theory beginning with the need for a system of rights which does not, which allows secularity, which allows for each uh, community to, um, so long as they're not imposing on the other's rights, to find and live their own version of the good life. This is a, a logical these are logical underpinning principles which isolation by particular examples can be just a distraction. For example, uh, my, my stepmother used to say we, we'd argue about the death penalty and she said, she'd say um, how would you feel if your son was killed, yeah, and uh, it's it's actually it's beside the point. We 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 in principle choose not to run government by a lynch mob, an angry mob of people filled with feelings. It is reason that delivers. I may well feel murderous if somebody hurt my son or took my son's life. But that isn't, that is not um, part of the argument for, it doesn't enter the equation. And I would never agree to a society where the, the particular justice is that, a, that, that we meet out, the retribution we meet out in a justice system is related to how aggravated the person feels, yeah? Um, so these are, these are tactics to dissuade to detract from the principles under discussion. Keep to the principles. Principles first, pragmatism second. Understand the principles that have been thrashed out, why they've been thrashed out, why they stand and why they must stand and why the particulars are then constrained by those and the hypothetical is answered mostly just by considering the, the constraints of the principles. It's an irrelevancy how a particular person feels in the formation of universal laws, rights, approaches and principles.